We leave the way of winter for Manibus, and this episode might help new players to understand the why. So if you are starting your journey in Once Human, you may want to check this out. So why did we leave the way of winter even we still have last phase remaining? The simple reason is boredom. We did get smoked out the weavers with high damage builds like Bingo, and the problem is that there are nothing else to do after that. Really, I think most of the players who experience the Manibus season can say that the way of winter is lacking content, and I agree. Because compared to Manibus with a lot of Prime Wars, Way of Winter only has Chaos Weaver, and the huge difference is that maybe to add some more spice on the boss, devs could put leaderboard or ranking after we defeat the Weavers. Just like in Prime War bosses, right? After the players defeat the Prime War boss, they can see the damage dealt, and they can also see how they perform against the other players, and it gives us more fun. Even the community expressed their dissatisfaction with it, and we cannot blame them for it. Well, let's see in the coming updates if they add more content on the way of winter and maybe apply the lessons from it to the succeeding seasons. For now, we will get the most of resources from Manibus, especially the mods. I realized after transferring to the way of winter that I have limited mods to play with my builds. And this is crucial for giving us the maximum potential of every build we like to explore. What do you think? If you're a new player, don't ever ever start in the way of winter, because this season will give you enough resources that will give you enough firepower. Mainly, the Star Chrome rewards is way lesser due to a number of reasons. For example, the way of winter doesn't have Prime Wars. That is a huge advantage because every Prime War boss will give you 800 to 1200 Star Chrome on first unlock, from easy, hard, pro, and up to nightmare difficulties. On top of it is the mods that you will be getting, especially the Resonance mods. Many of new player asked, where did I get my mods? And that is the short answer. Secondly, the number of silos. Still, Manibus has more silos than the Way of Winter, and because of this, you can obtain variety of mods that you may use in your future builds. Another reason being that on the hard server, we will have additional way to get better calibrations, as there are random phase mobs that should be dropping it. For example, in Fast Gunner build, I am using Overflow Calibration on MG4 to take advantage of the extra bullets after a reload, and gives us more firepower during Prime War boss fights. And many other calibration variations that you cannot obtain easily in the Way of Winter. And yes, there are Phase Mob in Way of Winter too, but for only a limited chances, like the spawn in Silo 08, unlike in Manibus Hard Mode, almost all the major maps has one spawn of it. Let me show you a short clip of my old build using Overflow with Fast Gunner. For Cradle, we use Master Tactician, Long Range Enhancement, Tactical Combo, Heavy Strike, Deviation Master, Handgun Enhancement, Automatic Weapon Enhancement, and Steady Hand. These are old Cradle overrides. Please double check if you want to try. Here I am using old mods came from grinding in the Manibus server. This is just a basic Fortress Warfare fire rate, crit and weak spot food buffs, and deviation buff from the wolf. Sadly, this old build is based on weak spot, and primarily using the Gunslinger mod. The upcoming update on December 19th would make a significant change on Fast Gunner build lovers out there. Gunslinger will be changed from when in Fast Gunner state, weak spot damage plus 30% to when in Fast Gunner state, crit rate plus 10, and weapon damage plus 10%. This would mean that this old build will be thrown under the bus and needs to be recalibrated into a crit build to maximize the new mod update. This is also a good opportunity to try out the new update. A major rework on Bounce Effect will be dropped, and this may give more players a new and fresh interest to the Bounce build. As before, this was obvious that the Bounce build is only better with multiple targets, but don't give satisfying outcome with single target. Let's see how things pan out this time. With Manibus Season, we can collect just enough Bounce Weapon mod from Shadowhound Monoliths.
For weapon updates, again, only bounce effect have significant changes. Quite interesting to try. Maybe I'll start on Brahmini's sniper rifle. We'll see. As for unique gears, they also updated the bounce effects, in which I can think that the concept was more leaning towards shrapnel builds. Is it just me? I'm really curious on this bounce triggers, and with given the right mods and gears, maybe we can build something exciting out of it. For most of mods and Cradle, they seem to focus on bounce effect. But for most of the gear adjustment, the Sharpnel's gas mask is being buffed again. Do you believe this? Devs really love Shrapnels. So from base Shrapnel damage plus 100% to Shrapnel damage plus 150%. What a 50% increase. But it's sad to see that the Bastille set is not getting the favor. Here they will be removing the reload speed on second effect and the weapon damage on crouch on third effect. Lastly, for shrapnel lovers, they also buffed the shrapnel smash mod from triggering shrapnel grants. Shrapnel crit rate plus 1% for 2 seconds. Effect can stack up to 20 times. 2 triggering shrapnel grants. Shrapnel crit rate plus 2% for 2 seconds. Effect can stack up to 15 times. So in short, we will have 30% crit rate for 2 seconds. 10% increase from the old 20% crit rate before. The last update that you may watch out is the Bomber, as now the little jaws would trigger bombs on hit from previous 15 hits before proc. This means that you will have guaranteed bomb explosion once hit and wait for only 0.9 seconds and expect a bomb again. And also the unstable Bomber final damage would be a fix of 20% from the old stats, where you can only double the 10% damage when hitting a weak spot. So, what do you think of this update? So if you have any questions or suggestion, leave a comment below. Maybe share your thoughts on what build are you going for after this update. See ya.